Are you a former reality star or struggling social media influencer? Do you ever stop and think, Oh my god, Jesus only had 12 followers? Well then have we got the place for you. A place where your self-worth is defined by your following. A place to wear your blue tick with pride. Coachella. The very best place to live your fake life. We all know that people like me go to Coachella in order to pretend to have fun on their Instagram so that they can gain more followers. But Coachella is quite far away and it's pretty expensive to get to. So I thought, how can I achieve the same result without actually leaving my bedroom? The plan was simple, but first we needed to pre-record some content that we could post on Instagram later. Okay, so we're currently turning my bedroom extra space into a stage uh, where we're going to film everything. Looks a bit right now, but we will get there. But before we could film me pretending to be at a festival, it had to look like I was actually at a festival. And people at festivals look fucked up, yeah! So now that I looked fucked up, yeah, it was time to film. There's one thing that every great festival needs. Portaloos. So to make it look like I was at a great festival, we put one in my room. Turns out it's quite tricky making yourself look like you're in a portaloo in America from your bedroom, but after much trying, we eventually got one. Stop! <laughs> While Instagram stories are good, I wanted a main feed post to really sell the fact that I was at Coachella. So I got my friends, the Merrill twins who were at Coachella, to send a photo to me which I could green screen myself onto. So we had me in the toilet, we had me photoshopped into a generic photo at Coachella, Time for the biggest thing people do at Coachella. Party! Making it look like I was at a party at Coachella wasn't actually as hard as I thought it might be. All I needed was some fairy lights, some balloons, and some fellow party goers. This is my nightclub. I bet you that if you charged an entrance fee and put someone on the door, you could turn this into a popping nightclub. It's exclusive. It's, it's like quite small. You can imagine it, couldn't you? The bedroom club. I declare the bedroom nightclub. Okay. So, here it is. My bedroom nightclub. Not that different to this. <laughs> now that all the posts were ready to go, we waited for the right time in Los Angeles and then we started our fake Coachella mission. So, first up, make it look like I got a flight from London to LAX and then make it look like I got a helicopter from LAX to Coachella. <laughs> As if. I then got the Merrells to send me some footage from Coachella which I edited my voice onto and posted on my own Instagram. And we have made it. Coachella, I'm in ya. You know we missed the first day but we're gonna make up for it, it's all good. Then it was time for my main Instagram post which we worked very hard on but I was a bit scared of. <laughs> okay, come on, let's see what happens. Okay, okay. Uh, that looks good. Five likes. That looks good. Oh my god, someone said nice Photoshop job, Josh. I delete the comment. Wait, Vanessa Merrill commented on it. Great seeing you. Yeah, that's good. Okay, that's helpful. It looks like sort of models, but you get a cut out of stereo. Oh god, I don't know what to do. Someone said this has to be Photoshopped. I need to delete it, right? Is it the comments? Okay, it's done, it's gone. I hope this isn't this isn't ruined now. This is a big problem. It was a close shave, but I deleted the photo just in time to avoid too much suspicion. I then found a real photo from a real festival on my phone, which I uploaded and passed off as Coachella. Okay, this this one seems to be working a lot better. I wish I'd just done this in the first place, but hey, you live and you learn. I've also tagged Revolve. Um, they're like a big brand that take people out there, so thank you, Revolve, for taking me to Coachella. So with the Instagram photo nearly running the whole mission, it was time for our secret weapon, the bedroom nightclub. So here's what we uploaded. The bedroom nightclub got us back on track, but we were still cautious. So I sent off the portaloo footage to a friend of mine, Jess, who is actually at Coachella, to upload and tag me so I could re-upload it. <laughs> Suddenly the messages came flying in. But it wasn't just people online falling for it, we even got the queen of the jungle. How are you? I'm good, how are you? 
Hang on. Are you bad? Yeah. And uh, like nine, I think. So I've got to, I've got to ask you something. I saw. Um, do you know Lottie Moss? Lottie Moss, yeah. Do you know what? Is she single? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know because I was speaking to her last night for a while. Do you know much she's about best. her? She's one of my best friends. Yeah. Um, what? Yeah, I, Definitely a go. Are you? When are you gonna come to Coachella? I'm not coming. It's not my thing. It's not your thing. It's so fun. Is it really? Oh my god! Let me know any progress with Lottie. She's she's brilliant. She's my favorite. Yeah, she's awesome. Um, right, okay, Daisy, I've got to go. I'll be sending you with the boys. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do that. Okay. I will. I'll send you okay, a photo. I'll, if I find, I'll send you a photo with her. Okay. Do it. Okay. Do you. Okay. Bye, Jamie. Um. It's all part of a video. <laughs> it's all. <laughs> Did you completely think I was there? Oh my god, I was like talking about areas. I yeah. Was like... <laughs> I am dying. Use your balls. What's wrong with you? Oh my god, you got me so bad. So, if you are a Z-list celebrity struggling for fame, and you really want to get to Coachella in order to boost your fame, there is a way to do it without spending a lot of money and traveling a very long way. Create your own Coachella in your bedroom. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time for a new one.